everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is another little haul video. Uh, I went to, ran into Hobby Lobby very quickly yesterday because I saw some blue velvet pumpkins that one of you guys had shared in my Facebook group. And they were cobalt blue and I thought, oh my goodness, they are so pretty, just little ones on stems. Well, my Hobby Lobby did not have them, but I did pick up a couple of other things when I ran around in there real quickly yesterday. So I have a haul from Hobby Lobby. I've got a haul from Perpetual Ribbons because Miss Bobby surprised me and gifted me with some beautiful ribbon that I wanna show you guys. Uh, so I'm gonna show you that. And then I have a teeny tiny little Amazon haul, just something, a couple little things really quickly that I'm, I've got very simple, very, very, you know, not wonderful, but it is something that I wanna show you to give you maybe an idea of when you have guests come to visit, you know, of what you could get them. So, or have at your house ready, you know. So, and then I have just a couple of questions here that you guys have posed in just the last couple of days since I put my other video up. So I thought I would go ahead and answer those two questions. And I got my new curtains, whoop, 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 and they're up. And I will take the video camera down and show you. Uh, right here, here is a little bit of how they looked in the evening hours, but uh, I'll take my video camera down at the end after my final words and just show them to you up close in the daytime here. So they look so pretty, you guys. They really do, don't they? You can see in the picture here. They look so pretty. They're, they're soft. They're subtle. They're not in your face going, look, I'm blue and white. <laughs> They're not anything like that. They're, they blend in beautifully with the rest of the decor and softens up the whole look. It looks really pretty. I'm super happy that we went ahead and bit the bullet and purchased those. And again, this is a Chris find. This These curtains, I was looking and looking and looking on Amazon, trying not to spend too much money. And he looked at me and he said, Arlen, he said, there's times to be frugal and then there's times to just... This is your kitchen. This is something you're in every day. Go ahead and spend the money and buy the cartons. So I said, okay. So we bought these and they were about $250 for three panels, not each, good Lord no, but for everything. It was like 200 and over $200 for them. So anyway, anyway, let's get started. Uh, let me talk about this little silly thing from Amazon that I'm telling you, that I'm fixing to tell you guys about. And I haven't done this in the past. And as you know, or for those of you who've been with me, I always have a care basket up in every bedroom. And if I can find some pictures, I'll put some here of what I have in the bedroom. I always do that to myself too. When I'm editing, I go, why did you say that, Arlen? Now you have to go look for a picture. <laughs> and my pictures are organized, but sometimes they're a little obscure and not easy to, to find. But if I found them, you'll see up here that I put a, a, uh, a basket, like a care package that has, you know, creams and it has uh, a little uh, nail file. It's got Q-tips. It's got a, a poof, you know, anything that uh, toothbrush and toothpaste and mouthwash and hand sanitizer and things like that. And I thought what I would add to my baskets uh, of goodies up into the purple bedroom. Barb, if you're looking, close your ears. If you're watching, close your ears. <laughs> uh, this isn't a gift or anything. This is just something to add to that uh, basket. And that is shower caps of all things. And I found the, the Candace had, this came in a set of three and I'm using one back in my bedroom. Let me open one up and show you. Are they, actually, I don't want to open it because I want to keep it packaged so that Barb can open it if she wants it. Uh, but it came in a pack of three, and these are really cool. And I'll, you know, they are linked in, I believe, in my bathroom. I have a bathroom. You know what? I don't know where they're linked. I'll type up here where they're linked on my Amazon shop. Not expensive at all, and they're really nice quality, and they could take them home if they wanted, you know. But nice quality little sh disposable shower caps. 
you know, because ladies, let's face it, I color my hair and I don't wash my hair every day. I wash my hair about every third or fourth day now. I try to go four days, you know, uh, to hold the color in better and to just, it helps with the health of my hair, you know? So just a cut, just some shower caps to stick in that little care, care basket. Silly idea, I know. Also, I'll stick in little clips that I have, and I'll put a picture here of those two that she can wrap around like a, I have a shower caddy, you know, in the in the shower, and she can just clip the, because they're going to be here a week, so she can just clip her shower cap onto this little clip, and I'll show you those. Uh, you know, just little stuff to make it easier for them, and, you know, she's traveling across the country. She may forget something. I doubt it because she's a avid packer, but, you know, for folks who just come to visit, you, you know, you could even say to them, hey, you don't have to bring, you know, toothbrush and toothbrush. I've got that for you. You don't have to bring this. You don't have to bring that if you want to, you know. So, anyway, I thought I would show you that. And then I thought I would buy, uh, I haven't played, Chris and I used to play spades, cards, you know. Uh, actually, when I was a kid, we played Rook. I don't know whether you guys have ever heard of Rook. Uh, and my grandmother, on my dad's side of the family, used to call these devil cards. <laughs> uh, but yet they played Rook. So it is the same concept. Spades and Rook is the same, you know, you have a trump and you did it. It's like spades. It's, you know, you have a trump card. Anyway, regardless. Uh, so I got myself, you know, uh, some cards, it's so cheap on Amazon, but I don't have a, a deck of cards. I mean, I used to play solitaire all the time. But anyway, I got me some cards. So that's it from Amazon. But, you know, so I told, I asked Barb, I said, do you guys play cards? And she said, we really don't. We haven't in years. And so I thought, well, she said, we really don't. And I said, well, let's try, let's try to play some spades in the evenings and stuff, you know, or something just for something to do. I'm, you know, thinking about some board games and things like that too, you know, something to keep. So we're not, God, don't always have our noses in the, in the television, you know? So anyway, I guess all I got from Amazon. <laughs> so let me go into my haul from, uh, from Hobby Lobby here so I can show you that. And then I will go into the gifts if you look there above my head, you can see one gift right there, and I'll tell you all about it. Mm -hmm. Oh, my land, is that not gorgeous? I'll show it to you, and I'll tell you who sent it to me. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so, and then I'll get back to my questions. Let's go with my questions. Let's go into Hobby Lobby. As I said, I was going in there to look for uh, these cobalt blue velvet pumpkins and I found some last year but they were like a gray color and I know I still have a, those but those you know cobalt blue ones I thought man oh man they would be so pretty in my decor you know but they didn't have them at my Hobby Lobby but whoops sorry about the light they did have a few other things let me pull this closer to me so I'm not leaning out of the light every time here there we go I got a couple of, of towels. You can always use more tea towels, right? And it just says Thanksgiving. But, you know, you don't have to just use them for Thanksgiving. But look at the blue and white and burnt orange. Isn't that pretty? Thanksgiving. I thought they were so pretty. You know, so I did get two. And these were in with their fall stuff. And their fall stuff is uh, currently 40% off. So... These were, I want to say $6.99, but I could be completely wrong. Yep, $6.99, 40% off. So they were super pretty. So I got those. And then I picked up two of these. <gasps> aren't they pretty? And they're kind of a light cobalt blue, but aren't they just pretty? And they have kind of a gold, and they're heavy. You know, some of these don't look as heavy. Some of these are, are much lighter white, uh, but these are kind of kind of heavy. Not super heavy, but heavier than they would be if they were like plastic, you know. I have no idea what they're made out of. But these were $15.99 resin flocking pumpkin is what it's called. So it's $15.99, 40% off, and look at the gold stem. Isn't that pretty? I just thought these, and I've got two. I got two of these because I buy everything either in twos or threes when I'm decorating. So I do. So anyway, so I got those. 
And then, just two more things. It wasn't a big haul. But I, I have something similar like these linked in my Amazon shop, but I would encourage you to go to Hobby Lobby because these are look very similar to that. Look at these, these are glass. Aren't they pretty? And they are a blue with a, a clear swirly kind of handle on them. You can pick them up by that. And these were $21.99, I have two. $21.99, 40% off. But aren't they pretty? I just thought they were just so pretty. You know, and I, I don't know where I'll put them. I really don't, but they'll go somewhere in my, in my fall decor. I'm so sorry. Okay, I have one more thing that I'm really excited to show you. Now, I'm not one for buying pillows anymore. I have been buying pillow covers, and you'll see a plethora of pillow covers in my Amazon shop for fall, for Christmas, and just for every day, uh, for blue and white. For I mean, I have a ton of them in there, and I that's the way I've been doing, and I just switch out my, you know, my um, feather pillow forms, and I put the other, you know, whatever other pillow covers on them, and that is such as, you know, a money-saving kind of a deal to do it that way. But I saw this, and I could not resist it because I just thought it was so pretty. It says, I mean, right, put it right side up, blessed on it, and it is a beautiful blue. Just that beautiful blue for fall. Or, and I'm sure I could leave it, I'm so sorry about the light, I'm sure I could leave it in, in place for Christmas as well. Is that not pretty? Oh my gosh. And it does, it doesn't have a feather, it's not a feather uh, insert, and I can't take this off and replace it. So this is what it is, but I think it's beautiful. And I think I can leave this out all year round. It does not have to. It was in with their fall stuff, you guys. I'm so sorry. Every time I sit here, this light just gives me fits. Uh, but they had it in with the fall stuff, y'all. Why couldn't you leave this out for Christmas? Why couldn't you leave it out all year? You could. It is beautiful. This is what I love. Sometimes when you find like fall decor, Christmas decor, or you know whatever that is on sale, that can go all through the year. I mean, that that's an amazing thing. And this cost, this was a chunk of change if I remember. Yeah, this was a chunk of change. It was $34.99, but 40% off of that. So, so, but I'm super happy with it. I just love it. I think it's so pretty. So, and it's so soft and it's big. It's a big pillow, you know? So it could go sit up on top of, on the back of a couch, you know, wouldn't have to sit down on the cushions. It would be pretty up on the back if it's leaning up against the wall or something. I think that'd be super pretty. So, and that is all I got from Hobby Lobby. So I really didn't buy that much, although I spent $78.90, but I haven't hardly, I'm telling you, you guys, I did spend a little bit of my money at, at Williamsburg, but you know what? I have not spent a ton of money as of late, as you all have seen. You all have seen. I haven't done like haul after haul or anything like that. And I haven't spent that much. I just haven't gone anywhere to spend it, you know? So I have a little bit in my coffers, you know, from my, from my, my little, my little YouTube job, you know, it doesn't give me tons of money, but it does give me some to turn back over and put it back into the house. And for that, I'm grateful. I don't know that I could have afforded to buy this stuff and the curtains this month, but we took the curtains out of the household money, you know, not out of my money. <laughs> All right, let's head on over to Perpetual Ribbons and to Sweet Bobby. Oh my goodness gracious, Bobby. Now you guys who are in my Facebook group, you know she's in there. And she's been engaged with you guys in conversations and she's shown you some of her ribbons and she is a jewel, you guys. She is just a jewel. Uh, and uh, all of a sudden I went out and, you know, and I was sitting over in the rocking chair over there and he brought it in and he opened the box and he'd taken her note, beautiful note that she wrote me and she, he stuck it on top and he goes, here you go, honey, look. And I went, what is that? And I took the note, so I knew her handwriting. I knew it was Bobby. And then look what she sent me, you guys. Oh my gosh, what a 
precious, precious soul. And Bobby, I will pay you. I Let me tell you something, you guys. I do order from Bobby all the time. <laughs> I do. Uh, uh, but she's so kind uh, because she's just so kind, you know. She's kind to me. And, you know, yes, I do mention her. And, yes, so I guess, in effect, she's... She sponsored me without saying that I'm sponsored, you know, but every now and again, she'll send me something so sweet. And I thank you. I'm going to cry. Gosh, I tried. I told myself I got to try to get through this without crying. I'm sorry, you guys. <sighs> anyway, Bobby, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I so appreciate these these ribbons, they're beautiful and I love them. And as she knew, and as those of you who saw my fall decor last year know, these were my colors. And I have two big funky bows that go up on my mantle out of this ribbon. This is the most beautiful ribbon. It makes up beautifully, you guys. If I can find a picture, I'll show it to you. Uh, of my fall mantle from last year, which is pretty much what it's gonna look like this year, although we'll do it on camera together, you know. I'll do a decorate with me uh, video. But isn't this the most, I mean, my, my colors were blue, cobalt blue pretty much, and burnt orange. And I had found this ribbon at her shop last year and she, I purchased a bunch from her last year and she got it in again this year and she sent me two bolts of it. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm sure I'll be making something out of this. I know I will for somewhere. Uh, this is absolutely beautiful ribbon. As I said, it makes up beautifully. So I got these two. And then she sent me some of this, which is just beautiful. You know, absolutely beautiful with the blue and the cream. I love it. And this is the, uh, I, I think I had some of this last year too. I can't remember, y'all. Oh my goodness, I know I had that. But this has got a... A really nice, almost like a burlap-y feel. Let me see if I can open it here. Almost like a, you know, a burlap. And it makes up beautifully. Look at that hold it shape. Look at that. It is absolutely beautiful, you guys. So I encourage you, check out Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. And then she sent me this, which I love. I absolutely love this. Look how pretty. So, I can't wait to figure out what to do with this. This is just beautiful. Sometimes I don't like to, I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, sometimes, and I'm just going to ramble here for a minute. Sometimes when I'm doing funky bows, you know, I look at this and I think, okay, hmm, what could I pair with this to, you know, to make it into a, a like a three, you know, three different ribbons for a funky bow? You can also make funky bows out of just one ribbon, which I do that a lot too. It just gives you more tails, which gives you more bulk in your bow. But, you know, I could sure pull out the burnt orange. I could pull out a solid blue. I could pull out a plaid. Wouldn't a plaid be pretty with this? Uh, I could even pull out a cream. But, oh my goodness, the wheels are just a turning. This is beautiful ribbon. I love this. I love them all, Bobby. Thank you so much. Anyway, I highly encourage you. There she is, Perpetual Ribbons. There you go, perpetualribbons.com. And she's a lovely, lovely lady. Very wonderful to work with. As sweet as the day is long. Customer service is unsurpassed, and her product is unsurpassed. Highly encourage her. Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. Thank you, Bobby. Thank you so much. I love you, honey. I love you. Thank you so much. So, gosh, I, I just, I can't believe it. I couldn't believe it when, you know, anyway. It's beautiful. Thank you so much. And she's too good to me. You all, again, are too good to me. Speaking of being good to me, if you can see that willow tree right there. That is a nativity, uh, and I will get the camera closer when I take it down off of the tripod here. But that, my friends, is a willow tree nativity. And <laughs> Lisa Sagardia, thank you so much, honey. Oh my goodness. This is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gift. It came in this box. And you can see Willow Tree Nativity. 
Oh my goodness, and I'll keep this box, although I'm gonna keep this out all year. So this box will be stored in the basement just in case I ever need to move this. Uh, you know, sometimes, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, sometimes I keep the boxes and sometimes I don't. You know, they always say, if you're gonna resell stuff, be sure to keep the boxes, be sure to keep the tags on things, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, I don't buy something with it in my mind that I'm gonna resell it or get rid of it or whatever, and I wanna make money. I don't, I don't ever think of anything like that. So I might just get rid of this because I don't need one more box to, to store, you know? So, but it is beautiful. It is Mary and Joseph and Mary holding, you know, Mary is holding baby Jesus and Joseph and a little angel holding a lamb and then two little lambs and then what looks to be like a little donkey. <laughs> uh, it is absolutely beautiful. Absolutely, sorry. It is absolutely beautiful. I love it. Lisa, thank you so much for thinking of me. She called it a grandma gift. <laughs> and she said I could, you know, add to it, you know, in the future, which I will absolutely do, or I will tell my girls about and ask for that for Christmas, you know. Here, add to my nativity, you know. I've been wanting this for so long, Lisa. Thank you so much. Sorry. Y'all touch me every day. I'm telling you, every day, every day, every day, y'all touch my heart. I'm not even kidding. And I know there are people out there who think I am a cornball, who think I'm a corny, corny, corny woman and who make fun of me for crying and all of that kind of stuff. But you know what? Yeah, I am who I am. I don't put on airs. I don't bring you any kind of fakeness at all. I am who I am. And that's just the way it is, you know? So anyway, <clears throat> thank you so much to you, Lisa, and to Bobby for these beautiful little gifts. I, uh, big gifts, big gifts from both of you. Thank you so much. I so appreciate it. I'm terrible with thank you notes. So please accept my personal thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Teresa, you too. I'm terrible with thank you notes. I, I know this and my mom would have my hide. She would have my hide, but I'm so stinking busy. It's, and that's no excuse. I mean, and she would say, that's no excuse, Arlene. You need to write your thank you notes. <laughs> so I'm just telling you, thank you here. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So, all right. Uh, let's see. I remembered I had a couple of questions. Let me see if I can get my computer up here. And I just pulled up my, oh, Candace just sent me a picture of Mav. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can show you guys. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Is he not adorable or what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, what a doll. My emotions are right here again. I'm sorry. Okay, anyway, I have a couple of questions. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find them again here. Okay, here's one. This is from Shelby Lynn Williams. And she said, you look so pretty with your turquoise jewelry. This is actually on my uh, my last Q&A, but she must have just, this is on my Q&A number 10, but she asked this like four days ago, and I'm so sorry, honey, I missed this question. But anyway, she said, I made three of your recipes last week, the pot roast, the chili, and the strawberry shortcake. Woohoo! <laughs> she had a question for a future Q&A. Could you share the name of your hand cream, please? And I absolutely can share it. I usually use, uh, happy is what I usually use. And I usually get like perfume and cream or lotion for, uh, for Christmas. Chris usually gets it for me like in a, in a gift set. This is body cream, but this is what I use. I, I wish that I could let you guys smell this. This is this smells so fresh, so clean. It is just the, the, the most lovely cream ever. And this is my go-to. I've got it in cream and I've also got it in a, uh, um, I also have a gel that's in my purse. Uh, it's called body gel. I mean, it's just like a hand gel. It's just like a hand cream. I don't know what makes it a gel. Don't ask me, but, uh, but happy is my go-to, and that's what I use. I'm gonna put some on. I'm gonna put some on. That's what I use 
mostly all the time is this. And it just, and it pairs, and I always wear happy perfume, you know, and it pairs beautifully with my perfume, you know. <laughs> and I get compliments on my perfume and the way I smell all the time is, you know, because, and it's because of the cream and the perfume together, you know, when you, you wear it that to, you know, to complement one another, it really enhances. I don't want to be, and I'm really careful with my happy perfume too. Just be aware too. I've worn that happy perfume. I've probably worn it for 35 years, you guys. It is just my very favorite perfume. I do wear, and as sometimes I'm fixing to talk to you about this, and I wear some something from Key West uh, Shop, something like that, .com, that's called uh, something ginger. That is really good, too. But my two go-to, my go-to perfume every day is happy, is my happy perfume. I love it. Absolutely love it. Hands down. And then I did find this Innis, I-N-I-S, or Inis. I found it down in Williamsburg. A couple of years ago. When I was down there with my cousins, Donita and Stacy, and we found this stuff, and you talk about smelling fresh and lovely and nice. I also have the perfume for this, and it's a lovely smell. And I'll tell you another thing, I don't switch out my scents for winter or summer or whatever. I'll wear it every day of the winter too, because this is a light, kind of a springtime kind of a smell. I'll wear it in the dead of winter, you guys. Because that's how much I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It is definitely one of my signature. My signature perfume is is my happy. Most definitely. Before I go on to the next question, I wanted to show you this is another thing that I got from Amazon. I forgot this. I had it sitting here with my creams. Uh, this is what I what I, my Redken. I use Redken products mostly. Um, she uses Redken on my hair. So I like to, although I do use a ghost shampoo from Euphora is what uh, my hairdresser's salon uses. That's like their, what they have, what they carry. The salon she used to work at used to, you know, use Redken and she, bless her heart, continues to get the Redken for me because I've used the same stuff for years and years, uh, but hair color, you know, and so I have worn this hardware. This is a gel. This is a hair gel. There you can see, whoa. And I, you put this, of course I did that. Now I have no way, I don't have any napkins or anything over here. Uh, on your hair after you get out of the shower and it is, you know, a, um, sculpting gel it's like you know to give your hair body and whatever and i use this every day and i use guts g-u-t-s from redken too just in the roots and then i use dry shampoo on the days that i'm you know like to this morning i put a little dry shampoo in this is day two for my hair and day two is usually the best day day two and day three day one oh my land i look a sight when my hair is really clean. Sometimes I'll put dry shampoo in my hair just on day one, just to give it a little body, you know, because it's, my hair is very soft and very um, fine, you know. I have a lot of it, but it's, it's poker straight and fine. <laughs> so anyway, okay, so those, that, uh, that answers the cream, and I wanted to show you the sculpting gel. And then the other question, let me find it, was after my video the other day, one lady asked me, isn't it fun being a grandma? And it is. Who asked me that? Linda Heitzdorf? Yes, it is. Or Hitzdorf? Yes, it is, sweetie. Uh, the best. The best of the best. <laughs> and then here it is. Uh, this is from JB. Hi, Erlyn. You sure did have a great shopping today. Love the giraffe from Maverick and those hydrangeas the best. I also love, love, love your jeans jacket. Will you share where you got it? It looks so nice on, on you. Thanks, Jill. And absolutely, Joe, I'll be glad to share it. Now, I do not know whether you'll be able to find it. My jean jacket is from Dress Barn. And I had it hanging in my closet for years and years and years and never wore it. It is an old <laughs> jacket. New to me, kind of, but old. And it is a size 2X. I'm between a 1 and a 2X. Mostly 1Xs, to be honest. And this, this is just a smidge. It fits, well, you all saw how it fit me. But it is a lovely, lovely jacket, very well made. Only problem is I don't know that I've seen it on their, on their website, you know. 
You could check though. I'll tell you where I found a, a, another jean jacket. Mm, I haven't worn it yet, you guys. I need to pull that out and wear it. Uh, I got one from Kohl's and it was really cheap, really, really cheap. But you could check the dressbarn.com. Dressbarn went out of, they went bankrupt and then they opened an, um, at the end of the year of 2019 and then they opened an online store only. Now, buyer beware, one of you guys told me it's not the same clothes as it used to be. I haven't purchased anything from the online shop, you guys, since it reopened. So I cannot attest to the quality of the merchandise that Dress Barn is carrying now. I just can't. Check the comments. Maybe other people will be able to say if they have or if they have experience with it. I do not. But that's where I got that jean jacket. But Kohl's, check there too. If you're, you know, interested in jean jackets, they usually have different shades and whatnot. So, all right. I think that's it, you guys. That's all I have. I do want to go into my final words here. And then I'm going to get, take you down and I'll, and I'll show you close to this nativity scene. And I'll take you over in the kitchen and show you the kitchen curtains up close. They're really pretty. So... Uh, I tell you what, you guys, I still have not gotten <laughs> to my wreath. I keep saying it in every video and don't have plans to do it. This week coming up, I've got uh, Monday. I don't have anything too important going on. Tuesday, we are going to Candace's house very, very, very early in the morning to help her get little Pearl, her little Italian gray, greyhound hound, to the vet for spaying. I get to babysit while uh, Candace's dad, while Chris helps, you know, get Candace and little Pearl over to the vet and then back. So we're going to be at Candace's house all day on Tuesday. I do not have another video planned to do to record between now and then. I'm hoping to get this up either tonight, Saturday evening, or Sunday morning. Uh, I don't have anything planned until next week, you guys. I apologize for that, uh, but you guys are hanging here with me, and I appreciate it so much, and I appreciate your understanding. And I just don't know what I have to bring to you next week. I just don't know. So keep an eye on my Facebook group. Keep an eye on, you know, my community tab, and I'll keep you posted with pictures of, of Maverick and what's going on, you know. And uh, I may just come back and chit-chat, but what I was going to say is if you have more questions and want me to do another Q&A, go ahead and ask me some questions and I can, you know, do a video like that. Other than that, I don't know what I'm gonna, I, I honest, as I said last week, this is a very difficult time of the year to for, for us YouTubers, or for me, anyway, I, I don't wanna say for others, but for me, uh, because we're really between decorating series, you know, we really and truly are. And uh, so, but anyway, that's it for this one. So let me go into my final words, but stay, hang with me and we'll look at the nativity up close and the curtains. And I'll show you where Chris hung, hung my, uh, it's just, it's nice to, what is it? It's just nice to be, to have grandkids, something like that. <laughs> have it hung up and I'll show you that. So, all righty, you guys, uh, I hope that all is well with everyone. And for those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Come back now. I'll show you the curtains and the and everything else. Okie dokie, you guys. Here I was sitting right here. <laughs> and here is that beautiful nativity. Isn't that just the prettiest thing ever? And this is where I'm going to keep it for now. Probably through fall and through Christmas. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to put it away. Why can't a nativity scene be out all year? I think it can. So Lisa says she leaves hers out all year, and I think I'm going to join her in that. I think it's beautiful. Thank you so much, Lisa. It's beautiful. I love it and will cherish it always. 
Then, there's all the stuff to go upstairs <laughs> that I haven't ventured up yet. Here is my life is just better with grandkids sign right there. This is the doorway going from the family room into the, through the little alcove there, the basement door is there. And then that's the front door. And it's right above there. And it is right in line with the hem plaque. See that? And it really looks nice together. I love it. Absolutely love it. And then over here in the kitchen is where all the curtains are. And so is the hand. <laughs> Who is dressed, by the way. <laughs> so I'm gonna go by him, skirt by him, and up we go to the curtains. <laughs> there he goes, he's escaping, you guys. <laughs> but aren't they pretty? They look so pretty. Wait, let me turn on the lights. Alexa, turn on the kitchen lights. Okay. There you go. They look so pretty. I love them. I absolutely love them. And they are really nice quality, you guys. Really, really, really nice quality. So, super happy with them. And I'm really happy that I changed them out in here and it pulls all of the blue and white together, you know, throughout, throughout. Of course, there's a touch of red in here because I pulled in the red from the plates, but everywhere else is just the blue and white. Even in the living room and dining room too. So, I love it. Very, very happy with how the house, the house looks. With our company coming, I'm super happy with it. So, all right, you guys. That'll do it for this one. I will catch you again soon. Not sure when, but you know, I'll be back when I can. Love y'all bunches. Bye-bye.